And in the women's 100 meters at the world championship level, it's straight into round one, and that does mean we've got a lot of heats in to get through. Two. Six of them and in total. The of Top three qualify year, automatically. In lane Nevada. two in the first heat, sees Daronita of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Ireland. She took a bronze medal in Munich at the European Championships and a medal indoors. So she's got these European level medals, which will be desperate three, for a global medal this year or in the coming years. Geraldine Frey of Switzerland goes in lane three. So, Julian Alfred, a fantastic 10.83 this season. A busy time competing for the University of Texas. She did actually beat Shakari Richardson, though, in Sakes Beheva at the Gulai Istvan meeting a few weeks ago. It was a bit of a shock. Shihi Fazane of Iran goes in lane five, the Asian indoor champion. This is Gina Bass representing the Gambia. She took sixth in the 200 in Doha, so she has made a global final before, and she's won a national record for the Gambia of 11.05 this season. Serena Sapong of Northern Mariana Islands goes in lane seven. Angela Tenorio of Ecuador goes in lane eight. This is Delphine Nkansa, newly crowned European under 23 champion over 200. Still just 21 years old. Semi final and final On come tomorrow night, day three in the evening session. Sweltering conditions down trackside. You can see the heat rising off. Our pitch is there. And these athletes will be used to competing this heat. Uh, have their strategies of hydration, of changing their warm up, adapting what they do to get to this race, but still uh, stressful. You can see it's taking a while to settle in the blocks there, the women. Set. Away, no, no issues. Good start from Frey between Daryl Nita and Julian Alfred. And Alfred with a safe start given her false start last year in Eugene. Comes through in the closing stages. 11 dead. Oh, come on. Come on, women. Behave. What are you doing winning 11 dead in this heat in the first round of the World Championships? That's some serious running. No messing around, Alfred. Look at that. Zero wind as well. It's a strong last 30 or 40 metres from Alfred. Uh, how much do you think that false that uh, disqualification last year would have been playing on her mind? Well, I, I think it played on her mind most of the season because she really attacked this season with a vengeance, broke the indoor national record in both the 60 meter and the 200 meters NCAA record. She was never able to break the national collegiate record outdoors because it was always bad conditions. The wind was always over the allowable just by a little bit. She had run faster than Shakari Richardson had ever run, but the wind was over the allowable. But Daryl Nita on the inside, this is a good confidence builder for her, knowing she can get up when she needs to. But Julian Alfred, this is her featured event. We expect her to be in the finals and in the mix for these medals. Gina Bass running well. It's the middle phase of her race here. The athlete with six on her hip. She just got left by Julian Alfred and Nita over the final few metres, but she did get into that third automatic qualifying spot. 11.1 for an automatic qualifying spot. Very, very competitive. Seven the results there for that first heat. Julian Alfred confirmed 10.99. Daryl Nita, 11.03. Gina Bass, 11.1. Season's best for Sapong. Northern Mariana Islands in eighth place, 13 04 for her.